Hey guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Courtney and I'm from New Zealand and I currently live in Japan. In today's video, I'm gonna check out what new Marine Corps recruits go through in boot camp. Now this is a long video. This is 16 minutes and 30 seconds, so I'm in for the long haul. There were some videos that were like 10 minutes long, but I think this one is gonna give me the best impact. You know what I'm saying? So let's do it. If you are a Marine, please let me know down below if this is what it was like. Actually, my fiance is a former Marine. So it's quite interesting to see this and see what he went through. Let's get into the video. Island, South Carolina. Wow, look at all these shaved heads. Before they become United States Marines, all recruits have to graduate from the Marine Corps' 13 week basic training program, which tests them physically and psychologically. No one feels sorry for you! It's a pressure cooker for 12 weeks. Under the pressure oh of an intimidating gosh. drone instructor, someone that's putting you under the scrutiny of attention to detail every single day. And to a certain degree, everything you do is never going to be good enough. Everything at boot camp sucks. It's going to hurt, it's going to be painful, but it's only going to hurt more if you look at it that way. Around, around, around! It's boot camp, and it's supposed to prepare you for the challenges that lie beyond. No, no, no. We spent five days at Paris Island, where we saw different companies at various stages of training. You will now run, you will walk, get on the yellow corporate right Brand new. Right, you will do what you're told to do, what you're told to do it, and without question, do you understand? Yes, sir! On day one of boot camp, oh new recruits arrive at the receiving barracks, where they take their first steps toward becoming Marines be like by walking through these silver hatches, so symbolizing the threshold between the outside world and Paris Island. You walk through these silver hatches once and never again, you understand? Oh, yes, sir! Once inside, <laughs> recruits are processed and assigned to their platoons. After graduation, Marines commit to a minimum of four years of service. Upon entering, oh my God. an entry yes. level private will earn around $20,000 a year. Yes, sir. Recruits are required to make a phone call Aye, to a family member or their recruiter to let them know they've arrived. This is recruit Hatcher. I've arrived safely at Paris Island. Please do not send any food or bulky items. Or They're only allowed to read the script printed for them inside the phone bank. I will contact you in seven to nine days by letter with my new address. Thank you for your support. Goodbye for now. Yes, sir. Get in the club. Hey, sir. Recruits are given three chances to get someone on the line. Sir, my recruit is not answering. Sir. Call him again. Not every recruit is able to make a connection. If there is no answer, hang it up and close it. All right, sir. But they won't have long to dwell on it. The Marine Corps Recruit Depot in Paris Island sits on 8,000 acres of the South Carolina Low Country. It's one of two enlisted recruit depots in the United States. The other is in San Diego, where only male recruits are trained. Around 20,000 recruits graduate from Paris Island every year before joining the more than 180,000 Marines actively serving today. We take young men and women from all walks of life, all cultures. Maybe they were rich, maybe they were poor. They've got different religious backgrounds. They are the melting pot of America. And they come here with one common goal, and that's to be a United States Marine. Paris Island, South Carolina. Here, everyday Americans become Marines, the toughest fighting men in the world. Male recruits have been trained at Paris Island since 1915. Female recruits began to train oh, there in 1949. Badass. 
today. Females comprise under 25% of recruits at Paris wow, Island. 25% and is approximately more than I thought. 8% of the United States Marine Corps, oh, the lowest percentage of any United States military 8%. branch. A recruit's day begins before the sun comes up. Their typical wake-up call is 0400 or 4 a.m. Oh my goodness, every single day? Recruits endure an intense series of physical challenges. 4-3, am I hearing that right? 4-3, yes sir, fail! Some recruits arrive in better shape than others. Some never did anything more than sit on a couch, you know, as a couch potato. And some may have been collegiate athletes. So there's a vast spread of what their athletic fitness and ability is. Hi, sir. Oh my goodness. Much of their training happens here in Leatherneck Square, where a series of intimidating obstacles comprise the confidence course. That would be fun but not under the conditions that they're forced to do it, you know what I mean? Like getting yelled at and stuff. No, I'm tired of watching you freaking fail. You failed this event. <laughs> nope, just grab your canteen and go. You failed this event. May this have one more try, sir! What did I just say? Aye, sir! What did I just say? Aye, sir! Oh, go! Aye, sir! The training program is progressive in nature. It starts out in a crawl, walk, run approach throughout training. 99.9% .9 of those that get here and complete all those requirements at the end of training, regardless of how they started. I'm slipping, please. Please help. I don't want to do this. I don't want No, I'm not. Please. Any recruit with a fear of heights gets the chance to conquer that fear, courtesy of this 47 foot tall tower. Recruits must rappel down using two different methods. For me, the rappel tower was hard because I sort of had a fear of heights. Grab a little my right hand with your right hand. You have to trust the rope. So there's nothing Whoa, to be worried about. Cool. You'll be safe all the time. Can you please help me? I'm trying to help you. So I don't want to go down. You can do it. Recruits with a phobia of heights have little choice but to face their fear. You can fear. do it. Hey, this what's up? One of the most dreaded parts of training is the gas chamber. I've heard about this. Crush, 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 crush. Oh Recruits are exposed to CS gas, more commonly known as tear gas. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's so scary. Once the recruits enter the chamber, they break the seals of their gas masks. You go in, you feel it, instantly hit your skin, you just feel burning. Ah! Say something to me now! Feels like those few minutes felt like an hour. I would want After to After around be five excited. minutes, <laughs> the recruits are free. But the pain endures. Oh my goodness. Definitely you thank God for fresh air. It's really nice to be able to breathe in and not feel an instant burning sensation. <laughs> gas chamber is important because it builds confidence. Confidence in the gear, confidence in the drill shutters, and then confidence in themselves. That's true. No, don't walk. Recruits are trained in different styles of hand-to-hand -hand combat. First thing we want to see is that straight thrust, you understand? Yes, sir. Bust them, excuse me, sir. Aye, sir. A key aspect of their martial arts training is fighting with pugil sticks. Who killed that opponent? You understand? Ah! Holy crap! The pugil stick techniques are intended to mirror those used in combat while using a bayonet. Here in the Marine Corps, we have a kind of a little ditty that means red is dead. Oh, when so you see it red full speed, it's like... Emulate oh. the actual knife portion of the actual bayonet mounted on the weapon. Oh, oh, oh. So anything that you strike with that red tip, nine times out of ten are either going to be incapacitated or laid to rest. <gasps> wow. It gives them an opportunity to blow off a little steam. Yeah. They have a lot of pent-up aggression, 
especially towards maybe their drill instructors. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> they're out there, they're actually doing what they feel like they signed up to do, which is learn how to combat the enemy. Recruits also practice with actual bayonets. Whoa, are you serious? Rinkle, rinkle, rinkle. Fight back up. And engage in other types of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oh my gosh, he Although looks so male and young. female recruits do intersect during training, oh, the teams are separated <laughs> by gender. That's and why. although the recruit depot has experimented with integration before, the Marine Corps is the only military branch that separates male and female recruits during basic training. Yes, sir! Ready, one. According to the Corps, every Marine is first and foremost a rifleman. Recruits spend the bulk of two weeks devoted to marksmanship. This is the so first badass, of which man. Sees few shots actually fired. First off is the fundamentals. They have to understand how to aim. They have to understand exactly how to breathe when they're taking that shot. They have to understand exactly how to squeeze the trigger and how to have follow through and recovery with a rifle. Combat operations is the foundation for every single Marine, regardless of what your occupation is. What it is to sit behind a rifle, look down that barrel, and be able to put lead on target. Aye, sir. You are going to swim until you pass that ladder. Aye, sir. The Marine Corps is defined as an amphibious warfare force. Therefore, swimming plays a key role in training. If you see another intruder up there, and there's more than five, you're going away. During swim week, recruits go through numerous exercises in the pool while wearing their camouflage uniforms. But training at Paris Island isn't all physical. Recruits also spend long hours in the classroom. But what may seem like downtime can end at any moment. When a drill instructor decides to order an impromptu cardio session at Paris Island, it's what's known as getting slayed. It's an experience. You realize the thing you've done to get in a sand pit, and then you realize, okay, that hurt, so let's not do that again. Physically it hurts, but me personally, I never worried about the pain I was feeling in my body. It was more thinking about the mistake I made and how I need to correct it the next time. So there's gonna be some chaos, because when they come here, we wanna tear them down a little bit. And then we wanna bring them back up into the mold of what it is to be a United States Marine. Group training culminates in an event known as the Crucible. Over the course of 54 hours, with minimal sleep and food, recruits must endure realistic combat scenarios. The sounds of gunfire and shelling are played over loudspeakers mounted in the training area. Recruits are forced to work together to overcome obstacles and achieve objectives that require problem solving and strategy. Got start all over. Yes, sir. I'm super impressed. This is what we saw on the second day. The recruits had become exhausted and irritable. Catch us ready. Ready. Jump it. Jump away. So they have like no sleep during this time. Not, you're not even jumping. I sir. You're just, you're just falling down. I sir. Oh, shit. I sir. You know, you go through a really rough time. You start thinking, man, like, it's hot. I'm thirsty. My arms haven't felt this bad in my whole life. We're halfway there. Come on. You just keep looking at the person to the left and right, and you're like, well, he's doing it. I got to keep going. Uh, mm. Like, I'm not going to let him do it on his own. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So there's no reason not to push. Uh. Once the crucible is complete, these recruits officially become Marines. Wow. Wow. 
day before graduation, friends and family see their new Marines for the first time in more than three months. Wow, that's amazing. To send them off as a civilian and seeing them in a uniform like that after three months, completely transformed. Oh, oh my goodness, that is so awesome. I could cry, that's so cool. Families that come down for graduation day that haven't seen their son or daughter in about three months immediately notice not only a physical but an intangible difference. When they walk across that parade deck on train day 70 and they graduate, they're no longer recruits, they're Marines. Meanwhile, in the barracks of Lima Company. I'm talking to you. Aye, sir. All these burritos right there. Aye, sir. All that trash out. Aye, sir. Brand new recruits diligently square away their racks before being warmly welcomed by their senior drill instructor. Stand up straight and look at me. Our mission is to train each one of you to become a United States Marine. Discipline and spirit are the hallmarks of a Marine. We will give every effort to train you, even after some of you have given up on yourself. Starting now, you will treat me and all other Marines with the highest respect. Physical or verbal abuse by any Marine or recruit will not be tolerated. My drill sergeant and I will be with you every day. Everywhere you go, you must give 100% of yourself at all times. Above all else, never quit or give up. We offer you the challenge of recruit training and the opportunity to earn the title, United States Marine. Yes! Whoa, that was epic. Wow. I'm really impressed at the boot camp and what kind of things that they do. And also, so, you know, my fiance, is a former Marine and I used to go visit him in Japan at the military base and he would tell me about you know his daily life and what he'd have to do every day and I'd be like oh my gosh like how do you do this every single day like getting up so early um, doing like physicals and you know just a lot of um, just military stuff that civilians would never understand and I was I'd be like how do you emotionally and physically deal with that life and just watching this I can see they've been trained to deal with it. You know what I mean? So getting put through this is essential to deal with military daily life, in my opinion. Well, just by the looks of it, I, I don't know, but I can see he's been trained. You know, he's been trained very well. And, you know, that's so interesting to me. Also, during the ceremony and your family and your friends come and see you completely transformed into a United States Marine when they, you know, they last saw them as just a normal civilian and they've been completely transformed. I think it's amazing. Um, I really enjoyed that a lot. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Leave any comments or anything down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Sending all her friends now, so I know her tracks Cause all these hoes know what's about to come next I hit my plug up, got the paper